Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Welcome learners. My name is Stephen Kariungi and uh, today we continue with our chemistry. Our topic of discussion is reaction rates and reversible reactions. So, so far we have uh, discussed two factors that affect the rate of a reaction and that is concentration and temperature. We have also uh, learned about uh, the various experiments that we can carry out to investigate the two factors. And three, we have also drawn graphs representing the various aspects and interpreted the data that is obtained from the experiments. So number three, we are going to discuss the third factor and this is surface area. So we learned earlier that surface area is one of the factors that affects uh, the rate of reaction. So this is our factor number three, surface area. And we are going to explain that factor in terms of an experiment. And here the experiment is to investigate the effect of surface area on the surface area of the particles on the rate of reaction. So on this, uh, we shall use a uh, marble whereby one of the marble will be in powdered form in very fine particles and the other one will be in uh, chips form in slightly bigger particles. Eh? But we shall use the same mass of marble, marble chips and powdered marble. And then we shall react the two with uh, equal volumes of dilute hydrochloric acid and then we'll uh, observe the experiment. So in this case uh, the procedure measure 2.5 grams of marble chips Marble chips is calcium carbonate. Two point five grams of marble chips and transfer it into a flask containing fifty cubic centimeters of one molar HCl, one molar hydrochloric acid as shown below. So we'll show that step. So we get some conical flask. So we'll get some marble chips and we'll have some dilute hydrochloric acid So that's the setup for the experiment. So we are measuring 2.5 grams of marble chips, calcium carbonate, and then we are transferring it into a flask containing 50 cubic centimeters of one molar HCl, hydrochloric acid. And then uh,
collect the gas produced and determine the time taken for the reaction to stop i.e. for effervescence to stop. So effervescence is when there is a gas that is being produced, that bubbling that is seen there. So when that bubbling stops, that shows that uh, the reaction has also stopped. So we collect the gas and then we determine the time taken for the reaction to stop. Measure and record the total volume of the gas collected. So we measure and record how much volume of gas have we collected in the gas syringe. So this is a, a gas syringe. Then we continue with the experiment. I repeat the experiment using 2.5 grams of powdered marble instead of marble chips. So now we repeat without uh, using the chips, but we use the powdered marble in finer particles, holding all the other factors constant. So all the other factors, we hold them constant. So our setup will be similar to the previous one, except that uh, we shall be using powdered marble instead of marble chips. So powdered marble is in fine particles. So that is powdered marble. And you have one molar HCl. So that is the setup. So here we are using powdered marble. The other setup was marble chips. And then also we do all the other things that we had done earlier. Measure and record the total volume of gas collected and the time taken to collect the gas. The time taken to collect the gas. So the explanation here is that uh, the experiment with the powdered marble took a shorter time. 
for the reaction to be complete. So this one took a shorter time for the reaction to be complete. And this is because of the large surface area. The larger surface area of powdered marble providing a surface for a faster reaction. A faster reaction compared to the use of marble chips. So we have observed that uh, the reaction where we used the powdered marble had a larger surface area uh, for the reaction to take place and therefore uh, we took a shorter time. However, the total volume, however, the total volume of carbon four oxide gas produced was the same was the same because we had used the same amounts of the reactants because same amounts of reagents were used so we only varied the surface area so the reaction was faster but the total volume of carbon four oxide that was produced was the same. So we are saying that marble calcium carbonate plus HCl, we get calcium chloride plus carbon four oxide plus water. So the volume of carbon four oxide that we are producing is the same in the two experiments. It's only that uh, in one experiment we are producing the gas more faster than the other. And that is where we had a larger surface area. So we can have uh, an assignment at that stage. So in the assignment, in the above experiment, why was the A mass of the marble the same? and the concentration of the acid the same. Why did we use the same mass of marble and why did we use the same concentration of the acid? Two, draw a graph for the two setups showing the results obtained in each case. So we'll stop there until next time, goodbye.